Hi guys, so when Boris Johnson signed his trade deal with the European Union last December, it was hailed as a bright new future for Britain. Zero tariffs had been achieved on trade and a no-deal Brexit had been avoided. But as I've said before, Johnson and the Brexiteers were more interested in signing a quick deal than a good deal. UK companies had between Christmas and New Year to understand what the deal meant for them. And the outcome has been both difficult and expensive. But two major problems are facing British businesses at the moment as a result of the deal signed between Boris Johnson and the European Union. They relate to customs and rules of origin. Now they may seem unrelated but they are intrinsically linked and again due to the short amount of time businesses had to understand this new world and the lack of clarity from government means they are out of pocket to the value of £600 million so far this year. Well, let's start with customs duties. Customs duties paid by UK businesses hit a record £2.2 billion in the first half of this year, according to analysis by HMRC Data. Why is that? Well, we have to return to a story back in January that explains it. At the beginning of the year, supermarket chains were highlighting the fact that Percy Pig Sweets may be subject to tariffs in Northern Ireland because of rules of origin. Now this product is produced in Germany, but because it's imported into the UK and then re-exported into Northern Ireland, which is part of the single market, then the sweets would be subject to import taxes because they're no longer protected by the tariff exemption. This is just one example, but it highlighted a problem facing importers and exporters in Britain. So the idea that Boris Johnson's Brexit deal would be cost-free to businesses was completely blown out of the water. But the problem goes deeper. Since then, British businesses around the country have been paying taxes for products if these products aren't sufficiently manufactured in the European Union. But how much is sufficient isn't always clear. So in order to avoid problems, trade bodies are reporting that many businesses are simply paying the customs duties in order to avoid these complications. This extra £600 million is directly related to Brexit, as while the UK was a member of the European Union, these customs duties were exempt. So the way around this problem is for an exporter to provide a certificate of origin. Then the importer can receive the goods while avoiding the tariff. However, this isn't always possible. Rules of origin apply to raw materials and goods modified in an EU country and those containing ingredients or components outside the EU. If the imported good is not deemed sufficiently processed in an EU country, then the importer can't comply with the rules of origin. I recently covered how this is affecting Northern Ireland, where the head of manufacturing Northern Ireland described how a company imported axles from Germany, but they passed into Great Britain for some modification. This meant that, according to the paperwork, they were exported and then imported back into the single market, which meant rules of origin didn't apply. Or maybe they do. The problem is the trade deal that Boris Johnson signed gets complicated when it comes to Northern Ireland. This may seem like a mess of the European Union's own making, but these are all measures that protect the single market. The EU has strict rules in place and this was never a problem for Britain while it was a member. Now that it's a third country and you can thank both the ERG and Boris Johnson for that, these rules do now apply. If Great Britain were to rejoin the single market and the customs union, these problems would likely disappear overnight, but Brexiteers don't want to go down that road it seems. In order to have his trade deal as quickly as possible, Boris Johnson and his negotiator Lord Frost agreed to things with either indifference or incomprehension. And as is always with the case of Brexit, someone else is suffering the consequences. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.